Hey guys, on this video, I'm going to share to you my Debian Ubuntu Hyperlan install script. Hyperlan is probably the fastest growing Wayland compositor for Linux at the moment. A huge thanks to Vaxtree, the lead developer of Hyperlan and to Hyperlan community who keeps on contributing to the, to the project just to keep it better and better. Hyperlan is probably the number one tiling manager based on Wayland at the moment. Now I know some people, they are being forced to use Arch simply because they wanted to try Hyperlan. And this is now why I would like to share to you this because this can be used for Debian. Now there's just a couple of things before head on to this. My Hyperland install script uh, for Debian and Ubuntu only works for Debian 13, Trixie or the testing branch and to the new Ubuntu 23.10 the Mantic Minotaur. I have tried to, to test it on Debian 12 and also the Ubuntu 23.04. However, Hyperlan, um, it needs a up-to-date Wayland um, libraries in which the rep repository for both the Debian 12 and also the Ubuntu 23.04 and older, they don't have these updated um, Wayland packages. So just bear that in mind. If you try to run it on, let's say on Debian 12, and Ubuntu 23.04, it may seem that it's installing, but at some point the Hyperland will not uh, compile and it will not build and it will not, I mean, it Hyperland won't be installed, so just bear that in mind. In any case, I have now here the Devon 13, let me just type in new fetch here. And I have set it up that there is no GUI on this. It's only the basic, um, when the installer asks, this is only the basic Debian. And as you can see, I have only 490 packages all in all. And you can see in there also the Debian Trixie. Now the first thing is of course, internet connection. You need internet connection for it because it's gonna download a lot of stuff, then you can install, install a lot of stuff and need to install the git first. So do v, um, apt install, um, what do you call this, uh, git. And then also at least a text editor, but I don't know, I believe nano is already pre-installed here. You don't have to download beam if you don't want. And I believe I already have it. Uh, no, not yet. I don't have the kit yet. Just quickly install. And then after that, you can just git clone https github.com capital J capital K Jacqueline Debian Hyperland. Now, after you clone this repo, do not right away run the installer. So a couple of things that I would just wanted to show you. Um, LS, so let's say Beam Redmi. So prerequisite here, very important. Do not, first do not run this installer as sudo or root else the install script will just fail and it will not. And I already mentioned that it needs the Debian testing branch. And then this is very important. We need to edit first the apt sources that list and then uncomment the, the lines with um, this dev as source src. And then also make sure that it's allowed to install a non-free drivers, especially with users with 
um, NVIDIA GPU. And just a notice here for Ubuntu users, you can use this installer. Again, I, have already, I told you already, I have tested only on 23.10. And then for users with, with NVIDIA GPU, make sure to edit the install script, which I will show you that uh, in a second. So then after that, so let's just edit first the sources that list. Sudo vim um, etc apt. I I like to use vim because simply it gives a just color sources that list. And as you can see in here, on oh, during my installation, I I have already enabled the NAND free and also the source packaging. This is the dev source. But if you see that it was like this, then you need to simply delete the hashtag, at least with the dev source. And I will show you later on when I'm installing it in Ubuntu. And then in after that, so let's just say, I mentioned about the Ubuntu for Ubuntu with GPUs, uh, NVIDIA GPUs, you need to edit the uh, install scripts, NVIDIA.sh. And you need to first is delete this part, NVIDIA driver, which I'm not gonna do that now because I am using, I mean, I'm installing in Debian. You need to delete this NVIDIA driver, firmware, MS, MS in M3, NVIDIA kernel, DKMS, and Linux headers. And then also, if you scroll down more here, for Ubuntu NVIDIA owners, just delete the hashtag. So you can just delete this. And then, which I'm not going to do it now and then go down here and we need to comment this this is for only for new ubuntu with nvidia but if you don't have any um, nvidia you don't have to edit this because it's gonna install the other script anyway no i don't want to say because this uh, installer is already meant for for uh, debian so let's just change to scripts folders, ls, just clear first, ls. Now, if you know what you're doing, you can edit the, all these dependencies and hyper packages. Just go through to my readme. So let's say I want to add some packages. Then we need to edit first the uh, you can insert this hyper dash packages that sh. So if you want to add a, let's say a uh, package, let's just say a new fetch, then you can type in here and make sure that the package that you wanted to install are, are in their official repos. Otherwise the script will fail hundred percent. And then uh, if you, again, know what you're doing, then you can change or edit the packages here. And, and then I put a warning here, do not edit beyond, beyond this line because the, again, the scripts might fail. Of course, you're welcome to check the, the scripts before you run it. So let's just, I'm just going to save that one and I'll go back to the original one and let's just, oh, before running, let's say I want to present the um, installer first, then you can go down and double check here the things that it will run. In any case, I will just run the script now.
So after you clone the repo, you need to make the install script executable by running chmod uh, click install dot sh. And then as you can, uh, if you notice in here, I am only a normal user. user. It needs a normal user because if I run now sudo that install that sh, the script should not be executed as root. It's, it's already telling there. And then to run is to that forward slash install that sh. Now you you need to answer some couple of questions here, and I will go one by one. I'd like to proceed? Yes, I'd like to proceed. And then this is already again a reminder. Have you edited your ATC service sources that list? Because again, this script will fail if you don't um, enable that one. Or some of the packages, most of the packages will not be installed. So if I just type in, let's say any any letter here, it will stop again. So yes and just type Y and then it will ask you do you have a NVIDIA GPU for me I have a NVIDIA on my um, laptop now yes and if I want to install the GTK themes I would say yes in here Bluetooth if you want to configure Bluetooth you can say no also you can say yeah. but in any case I will say yes to all of it and then Tunar is the file manager ROG laptops. This is for uh, users if you want to install an ROG because I, I have an Asus ROG. That's why I'm also offering this. I'm going to say yes in here. Obviously, if you don't have any Asus ROG laptops, you choose no. And then here, do you want to install and configure SDDM? Now, just for Ubuntu users, you don't have to install the SDDM because the GDM already picks up the Hyperland once it's already installed. If you don't want to install SDDM, you can start also the Hyperland by logging, by logging into your system and just type a capital H uh, Hyperland. So, but for this, I'm gonna install the SDDM and the XEG desktop portal Hyperland. This is um, highly recommended for Hyperland if you want for screen to use your system for screen sharing like the OBS and I want to say yes in here ZHS and oh my ZHS ZHS is like for the for uh, TTY if you want the ZHS and also the oh my ZHS I would say yes sway lock effects this is for um, the sway lock or the lock screen so i'm gonna say yes sww this is for the um what do you call this for like a wallpaper handling which gives you animation you don't have to say yes in here if you don't want because by default it will just uh, use the sway bg instead but for the purpose of this video i will just say yes NW look now this is very important NW look this is a very nice utility because it supports well compared to LX appearance which or the XFCE settings I believe the GTK settings and I highly recommend to install this however this takes a lot of time to install just bear that in mind and then of course if you want to copy my that files the one i configured if you don't want to copy then you will be installed only with the basic uh, hyperland and there's no there's no uh, configuration in there so i'm gonna, gonna say yes and then this is not a non-interactive installer at some point it will ask you to in to choose yes or no in here and better than especially for the oh my zhs because the script will fail if let's say there you have already i zhs uh, installed in here and i have also noticed in here that 
even though it's just downloading here and installing and setting up it will again ask do you want to confirm now i don't know why it does that if somebody knows then please uh, let me know so i can adjust the install script now depending on your internet access and of course depending on your system this may take some time especially if if you uh if let's say i have now here a a um very base um debian because it's gonna install a lot of the packages needed to for building the packages so i'll be back and i'm just gonna fast forward the video Now, this is the part where I'm saying earlier that if I want to continue or not. And some packages, they, they require this for some reason. But normally, you, own, you don't need this. But I'm just going to say yes in here because I want to continue. Obviously, if you want to say to cancel it, it will be no. Now, again, if somebody knows how to to at least um, make it non-interactive please let me know so I can adjust my install script then after that um, based on my observation you only need to answer this once later on it will ask you about the oh my ZHS because it needs a confirmation for that and if you have already the ZHS uh, installed or oh my ZHS installed then it script will fail again one of my colleagues, he actually suggested to, to not to have this output on the screen. But I told him the reason why I don't want that is because I wanted to see what's happening in the background. Plus, there are some also users who have a slow internet or slow system. And if it's just showing that installing one package, this, let's say one package, and it's like nothing is going on in the background and they think that the install somehow hang and with this output you could see that there's still something going on so that's the reason why i keep this uh RC. again like i said earlier this is for the chs and to use it as for your default default shell There you go, it's almost done. Now, if you have a NVIDIA GPU, it will automatically restart. Now, after you put into your system, this will be the default uh, wallpaper that you'll show. And just a quick tour first, Super D Delta is for the uh, Wofi. And on top here, you have the way bar. Now, if you notice in here, they're a little bit smaller. And also if I launch Tunar, for example, Super T, you still don't have the default uh, dark or light theme. And also the text seems a little bit small. Now since I have a 1440p display, this is the reason why. So in order to, to fix that, let's just select uh, like them. Then we need to like in, um, we need to launch also the see the Wofi, they are a little bit small text and also the wave bar so let's fix that one let's say um, if you install the nw look uh, this is the uh, again the purpose of it this nw look or the gtk settings now we can increase here the font you can either increase the font or go to the um, font scaling here yeah. scaling factor now let's just uh, change this one first to one of my favorite uh, font task don't ask me I just uh, like this one and increase to let's say 13 and click apply now still a little bit smaller again we launched the gtk settings 
we go to the font and then we increase the text scaling to let's say 1.25 and see in here the font they are now increased including the way bar and also same with the woofy now it and then you still have this um, you still have this uh, white background if you just press this one then it will automatically um, what you call this apply the dark and light uh, themes with it and I'm not gonna go through the whole process uh, whole um, process of this this is just to give you uh, because I will I will create I'm planning to create a video where I will go an in-depth uh, go through or walk through with my that file so for launching this one here you can use this penguin or super t and then for launching the uh, terminal super enter uh, there's a couple of things that we need to do if you install the oh my zhs let's just um, check in the redmi first where is that the redmi now we just need to add let's just increase the font size here mm, and here copy this super and uh, no, control shift v to paste and then it will ask your password and there you have it it's already changed uh, you need to log out and log in back in order to keep it uh, like this the oh my zhs and if you type in now you fetch this is the new fetch that i have set earlier so let me just quickly log out and log in again So now back, so as you can see in here, it's already also um, a change to make it increase, so control plus sign, there you have it. Anyway, I hope that you have, um, if you have any questions um, regarding the install if you have any concerns please feel free to to um, ask me you can also join i would invite you to my discord server which will be added on the description below and it's better to discuss in there rather than in youtube and then um, um, if you like the video please uh, like it uh, and share it if you have any more let's say if i made some mistakes on my install script you are welcome to submit a pull request and so it will improve and then also um oh a couple of things before i go on the on your home folder or where you downloaded the repo debian hyperland for example it creates a a uh, lag file wherein you can always double check what happens if let's say it fails then um, it creates a lag file for you so you can uh, or easily debug because I may need this if you submit a issue on the my github I may need these lags or also on my discord it's better in there because then you can easily just submit all the lags if I require. Again, I will not go through the whole with my dot file because I am planning to create a um, in-depth uh, lag files. Uh, sorry, lag files, not lag files. In-depth go through of my dot files. Okay, I hope this helps you. Please go to the readme and uh, please subscribe to my channel again thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next uh, video have a good day bye bye